my name is Andy Warhol, and uh, I just finished eating uh, a hamburger. Hi, everyone. You want to go paint outside in the forest, in the park, in the field with oil paint, but the oil paint gets stuck on your hands and your clothes it will be messy everywhere pencils how to deal with that how to deal with dirty pencils how to deal with your palette and if you get it on your clothes yeah I got it too if you want to know how to do it keep watching also in this movie I'm gonna show you how to paint a hamburger but first we're gonna paint in the park and let's see painting, painting in the park, in the park. We made a painting outside in the park in the morning. The nicest moments of the day to paint outside is in the evening or in the morning. with my hand I explained that the sky is lighter blue at the horizon than if you go further up so the higher you get the deeper blue the sky seems to be the woman where I'm with is my student so I teach her how to paint this landscape But, uh, how to deal with your painting box? This is my painting box. I like to keep it very small. Uh, and the palette you see here uh, may holds all the painting tubes and the brushes on its place. I got my palette knife there and my brushes. And I made it just the way that if you close the lid then the palette gets stuck in between and it holds everything in place. Well underneath uh, the box I have a, made a construction that you can click on the tripod. And then you can just use the tripod as how you would use it for a photo camera. Oh, well, you see, my painting box is a bit of a mess. There's a dandelion seed in it from the last session where I was painting in the park. So I need to tie it up this uh, box. This is another box, a bit a bigger box. I'm gonna use it now for the next project. Here I got some puppy oil that I always keep with me. And this one works the same way. So I click the pellet in between the lid and the box itself and then everything stays on its place click click
Nee, nee. Ja, dat moet je wel eens letten. Ja. Ja, dat, zijn, uh, dat is ook wel leuk, hè. En het verschilt ook. Dus, uh, ja, je hebt het helemaal met andere ogen kijken. Burger, New York. Hi everyone, in this movie I'm going to paint a hamburger. As usual, I cover the whole panel with black and a little bit of oil. So, and then I start uh, with a black drawing. First it went wrong. Some uh, salad that I don't need in the painting. I can better eat. For the rest, I just leave the hamburger alone. Not my favorite dish. For the hamburger itself, I use uh, uh, burnt chenna, a little bit of red, and white, of course. It's quite warm colors to start with, and then I can work from di dark to l towards light. So I uh, also put in the background at the same time with another brush of course. I mostly use a lot of brushes because I um, don't like to clean the brushes in between. By the way I don't use any turpentine or white spirit, I just use oil only. Especially for health benefits but also uh, I, f it, I found out it's works much nicer. As you can see I add in the white in the background behind the corner of the hamburger on the left and then you really see that that dark spot comes out very nicely this way cheese was very difficult I uh, I'm not sure if it's real cheese probably a lot of artificial uh, colors in there so it's very very bright yellow it's it's much more yellow than than normal cheese so I I, I needed to uh, get me in dark yellow to do the cheese and then the shadows seem to be red. Often shadows are red. Especially when it's a warm color from itself. And uh, well, as you can see, I do all the seeds on the top of the bread. First I do um, soft shadows and then uh, on top of that I put the seeds. something like this uh, I figure out what's an interesting place for the pieces of salad to lay down
And you see on the back side of the shadow from the hamburger, the shadow looks uh, almost bluish. Next time when you see a shadow on an object or from an object, look at the edges of the shadow mostly. It's very cold tones, very cool tones. For some reason the middle of the bread of the hamburger is always uh, white. Probably has to do with the way it's heated in the oven. And it's, uh, it's very important to look for that and put it all in all those uh, things that are very particular for uh, an object like this. People really love my hamburgers when I paint them. Generally people always like food on paintings, you know, because it reminds them of something tasty that they can take a bite of. And then if it's a hamburger, people really love the fact that it's uh, something modern as well. Sometimes you see people in the background, but um, I have a gallery. People always walk in and out. Mm -hmm. 